Can you see and hear me well? Yes. Okay, so how are you today? How was your day? Uh, I feel good. You feel? Good. You feel good. Oh, that's nice to hear. How about in school? How are you in school? It's okay. I learn thing, many things in school. You learn many things. And did teacher gave you homework? Yes, I finish it. Wow, you finish it. That's so nice. Okay, now let's now begin our lesson. Okay, but before we go back to the last topic that we had, Let's try to answer this one first. Okay. In here, you need to complete the sentence by choosing the words, appropriate word from the given choices. So, the one in violet are the given choices. So, all you have to do is pick the right word and fill in the blanks for you to complete the whole sentence. All right? Okay. Okay, so let's start. Sentence number one. Haven't you have you eaten? Have you eaten? Which here? As all or and? As in all. Okay, very good. Have you eaten? All the sweets. Good job. Now let's go to number sentence number two. Uh, she did all the work. Okay. She did all the work is correct. Now let's go to three. Did you eat a cake? Uh, oh, I think this uh, is... This is supposed to be not there. So the answer should be in. Yes, in. Okay, next. The book is under the... Okay. Under the black chair. Okay, the black chair. Which is correct. Now let's go to sentence number five. I need uh I need to go to school today. Yes, I need to go to school today. Now let's go to six. The cat is very little. <coughs> yes, the cat is very Little. Little. Yes. Now let's go to seven. We play it. Oh. Uh, uh, <clears throat> mm. I think it's hard. Okay. It's hard. Okay. Before that, let's read this word. Played. Played. Yes. Okay. Hard is... Correct. We played a hard game of chess. Do you love playing chess? Yes. Yes. Okay, now let's go to eight. Put the bird in its cage. Yes, cage. And cage is correct. Okay, almost there. We only have two more left. They, uh, they are finished eating. They are finished eating. Good job. Now, la last one. Ravi lost uh, his shoes. He and... His is correct. Good job. Okay, now let's move to our unfinished discussion. 
Okay, can you see now the new screen? Okay, so let's now read and discuss this story. Okay, okay. let's read. Trust me, ready? Okay, trust me. As long as you <laughs> live under this roof, you will follow my rules. In our house, we do not have a democracy. Crazy. I did not, I did not campaign to be your father. You did not vote for me. We are father and son by the grace of God. I consider it a privilege and I accept the responsibility in accepting it. I have an obligation to perform the role of rather of father to the best of my ability. I am not your part. The age differences, uh, differences uh, makes such a really relationship, relationship impossible. We can share many things, but you must always remember that I am your father. You will not disobey me because whatever I ask you to do, the motivated by love, it may be hard, be hard for you to understand at times, but it is always true. You will understand better when you have a son of your own. Until then, trust me. Okay, so this story is all about the, yeah, trust me. Oh, who is this? Who are we talking to? Uh, it's talking it? to father. Yeah, the father. Okay, before that, let's read this word. Democracy. Democracy. Okay, and do you know what is democracy? No. Okay, democracy, it is something that has a freedom. Or you are free of something. You have you have the right to say something, or you have the freedom to say something. You have the freedom to do anything. That is democracy. All about freedom. Okay. Next one is this one. Privilege. Uh, privilege. Yes. Privilege is a special blessing. Special blessing, or yes, special blessing from someone. Okay, you have you are special. That means privilege. Okay, this one. Uh, Paul. Yeah, Paul. And do you know what is a Paul? No. Okay, a Paul is a friend. What is a Paul? Friend. Yeah, a friend. You can call. A friend, a pal. What else? This is the other term or mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, pal. Next is disobey. Disobey. Yes, and disobey is it is people who don't follow rules. If you don't follow rules, that means you disobey the rules. You don't follow. So I think that's it. Or, or is the there is there any words that you're not familiar with? You know, no more. Okay. Now let's continue. Answering some questions. Are you ready? Okay. Okay. So first question. The writer. Not this one. Okay. Who make rules in your house? Who make rules? It don't have any rules. 
Oh, you don't have any rules in your house. Yeah. I see. Okay. Another question. Do you obey your father or do you follow the rules of your father? Yes. Yes. And what are the rules that your father have and that you obey? Just give me one rules of your father uh, that you obey. Oh. Well, that need to, I need to learn a thing to know more the to know more to have more experience and eat uh it's festival fruit to uh, be, uh to be like the uh, health. Oh, that's health. the rule of your father, and you were obeying it. That's nice. Okay, now let's move to another question. Do you think it is good to disobey parents? Or it is, do you think it is good to not follow the rules of your parents or disobey your parents? Mm -hmm. I think it's no. But sometimes, uh, uh, but sometimes uh, someone thinks that uh, uh, when we don't follow the rules of parents, it will be okay and it will be, uh, it, that, it, will, it will be that good. Yes. And they, they think good that because uh, they can be like free, they uh, they don't need to do a thing that they don't want to do, and they can do a thing they want, like play or travel to other uh, other place. Yes. Okay, so that's your answer. Okay, next. If you don't follow the rules, what will your parents feel? I will. Uh, I that uh, I uh, will be like that. Uh, we don't. Uh, we I don't have uh, good habits like uh, like when uh, I watch TV. Uh, uh, like oh my. Overnight, and my mom say that uh, you need to go to sleep to uh, go to school in tomorrow. But I don't, li uh, I don't listen, and I don't, uh, I don't think that uh, sleep is important. And uh, my mom say that uh, it will be help your brain and will be tall. Uh, but when uh, I when I listen and uh, uh, and agree with that, uh, I will sleep and will be good and we have a good habit. But when we don't listen and uh, we uh, don't uh, like don't uh, do the thing that like, uh, the parent wants to be good for uh, you that they will be like short or be that uh, will uh, have a good brain that can no, don't be smart. Okay, so I'll give you a um, new word. Okay, those person or those people who don't really listen are what we call hard-headed. Uh, okay. Yes. Okay. This is the new term if a people who don't listen to, for example, you don't listen to your parents' advices and your parents keep on reminding you, but you still don't listen. We, um, you are a kind of hard-headed person or if you don't like to use hard-headed, you can use stubborn. Stubborn. Yeah, hard-headed and stubborn are just the same. A person who don't really listen. Okay. Next, next question. Do you believe that the advice of your parents taught you for your own good? Okay, do you believe that the advice of your parents is for your own good? I don't know. What? I don't know. Okay. Okay, I'll rephrase. Um, do you think 
that the advice of your parents is for your own good? Mm, yes. Yes. Okay. Next question. Do you think your parents love you? Mm, yes. Well, they love, but uh, they uh, but uh, and then they will that uh, help me to be good. And when we think that they are like that, they do don't have don't want to be that free. Uh, but when we uh, think that the parent is want to want to know that we uh, will have a good habit, will have a good manner, and will be a good person. Yes, and do you and uh, sometimes being a good parent reflect being a good child. If you are being a good child, that means your parents is also being good. So you are a reflection of how your parents treat treat you. So keep up the good work. Okay, let's see to the new issues. What I love and what I hate. Is there anything that you love and there is anything that you hate the most? All of us go through our lives with lives? strong likes. Yep. Lives with strong likes and dislikes. We all have a wish list of things we would like to do or have an additional list of things we never want. Many items on these lists are particular to their authors, but most of them would probably fit into onto a universal list. I bet that you agree with with all of the items listed, listed below. Okay, let's do the wish list wish, first. Wish list. Have many friends, make some money, or get more pocket money. Get ahead of other is goal. Eat delicious things such as candy, instant foods, fast foods, with cola, high calorie, calorie foods, wear designer clothes, and top brand sneakers. Get more attention from other inherit money from your parents. Have the latest cellular phone. Play computer games all night. So the dish list. Dish list. Getting up early in the morning, listening to your Nike, Nike parents reading boring books. Okay, next. Doing homework and studying hard, seeing others succeed, when you don't brushing your teeth after every meal, breaking old habits and de developing new skills. Or oh, I was wrong. What items would you remove from Ather list? What would you add to both lists? Okay, let's talk about wish list and Dish list, okay. Wish list is the things that we want or the things that we like to do. And dish list, it is the things that we never want. So that is the dish list. And there are examples of a dish list from the author or from the one who wrote this one. And he or she have a dish list, the things that he don't want to in her in her or he like it. Now, let's go to answering some questions. Okay, first one. What does it mean by dish list? Dish list, 
that the thing that we don't want to do and never want. Yes, and do you have a dish list in your life? Mm, I think I don't know. I don't have because when, uh, the thing that I don't uh, want to do that it will be good for and when we grow up, we will uh, like um, we uh, the fact that we uh, uh, that we nervous uh, and not like nervous, nothing that we were that uh, we said that when we are, uh, uh, when we are like uh, we are like that when we are son, we don't uh, you know, we don't do the thing that like that, that eat uh, the thing and uh, learn the thing new that good for good for and. We will be like uh, we be smart and we will be a good person. Okay, just like before that, those things that we don't like, we still need to do this for our exercise to gain more experience or to have more experience. Okay, now let's go to two. It on to the universal list. Okay, fit onto a universal list from okay from the word universal or universe what was it all about who are the people involved in the universe i think it's the one who learned the thing that it um that the thing is more difficult Okay, so fit into a universal list, it is or it means that everyone in the world can make and do any kind of list. Anyone in the world, even the poorest people, even the president can make some wish list and dish list. Now let's go to the comprehension. Um. Uh, describe in detail what these two lists contain. Okay, Don't can use... you? Okay, can you give me your wish list or the things that you love to do or you want to do? Just give me three or four. And I want to have my friend. I want to have. I want to. Uh. Mm. I want to be smart, I want to be tall, and I want to be run very fast. Okay, you want to be smart and tall and run fast. Okay, what will you do for you to be smart? Yeah. What will you do when you want to become to, more smart? Uh, we need to listen to teachers. Um, that uh, do the do the thing that students need to do, like do a work or do the exercise done, and uh, get a high score. Okay, and what how what will you do for you to be tall when you grow up, or what will you do when for you to be tall? We need to be like that. What uh, are the like things that, that you uh, be a mm, I don't have to say that we need to do hard working. Okay, hard working to get hard. money. Yeah. Okay. And how will you develop your skills in running fast? How will you develop your skills? I will I will be practice a uh, run uh, every day at morning uh, to be run very fast. Oh, that's nice. And time yourself. For example, today, you need to time yourself. How long did you run? Then on the following day, time yourself again. You need to beat the fastest time that you run for you to practice running fast. Okay, now let's go to, since you don't have this list, let's go to number two. 
Okay, let's do number two. Let's. Let's read number two. Is my audio okay? Or not really? Are you? Uh, are you uh, are there any items on either list that you ever never done? Yes. Are there any items on the list or the things that you said that were never done? Mm. Or is um, your list is already finished doing? You're done doing those things that you mentioned. Um. <laughs> okay, so let's move to talking more. Okay, now let's try to answer number one. What do you love to do more than anything else? Yes, what do you love to do more than anything else? The thing that you really love to do. Mm. Um, I want to play football well. Play football, football? Yeah. Okay. Next. Let's go to number two. What is your greatest pet peeve? Okay. Greatest pet peeve. And pet peeve, it is the thing that you don't like most from a person. For example, a person, a characteristics of a person that you don't like, that is a pet peeve. What are the things you don't like from a person? Sad. Being sad? Yeah, it's hard. Oh, it's hard. Okay. I'll give you my pet peeve. This is the thing that I really hate from someone. Okay, that is my pet peeve. Asking yes. help, okay. even if he or she can do it by her own, by their own. Okay, for example, you want, okay, for example, she wants to drink water and she, and told me, I want to drink water. Can you give me a bottle of, uh, a glass of water? Even though, even if she can do it on her own, she still asks for help. So that is my greatest pet peeve. Okay, do you have any now? Uh, uh, okay. Um, when I is uh, I or like that. Uh, when I uh, or seven years old, uh, I have my friend. Uh, but uh, uh, he uh. Uh, he, uh, she is my friend uh, uh, in only three days because she has a pet peeve that um, she always, always, every day I'll uh, <laughs> say that I need to do this, need to do like uh, do homework when teacher or have uh, the homework three seconds later she say that I need to do that or I would be have a uh, I will be have a lost score, but uh, she say oh every day, but uh, she uh, don't do that. Oh, she always so, does it. 
when I uh, talk, uh, when I say that you need to do with that, uh, you need to do it. She said that uh, I can do it at uh, at the, uh, the afternoon when I uh, go at home. But she always only one per she always is only one person in our class don't do homework. Our class I do homework, but uh, only uh, she is don't do any homework. Oh, I see. So you only friend her for three days. Yeah, and only after, three. Days. Yeah, and after that, you don't like her anymore because she yeah. keeps on saying you need to do your homework always. Okay, so that's your greatest pet pet peeve. She is uh, very talkative and very lazy. <laughs> Talkative and lazy. So that's your greatest pet peeve. Being talkative, lazy, and pushing you to do even if you were doing it and she did not. Okay. And since 30 minutes is already up, okay, let's just continue three and the rest next meeting. Okay. Thank you for sharing some information and the story of your friend for three days. <laughs> okay. Yeah. See you soon. Bye.